how many times has this happened in your organization? Business teams want to launch all their high priority items, but there's more work than dev and QA can accommodate. When the demand exceeds the supply, you need to figure out which requests can fit into the release and which need to wait for the next cycle. Hi, I'm Rachel Wright, Certified JIRA Administrator and author of the JIRA Strategy Admin Workbook. I performed this prioritization exercise for years, and it was always difficult to communicate the possible release options to the leadership team. I had to explain that we could deliver this set of issues or that set of issues, but not both. It was challenging to communicate the options so stakeholders could make smart business decisions without overloading the teams. Finally, this is easier to do. With JIRA Snapshots for Confluence, you can display different release package proposals for stakeholders to choose from. Use multiple snapshot macros and the Levels feature to create a holistic view of epics, tasks, and subtasks grouped together in one list. Here's how to do it. Start by creating a new Confluence page to list the different release package options. For the first option, add a JIRA Snapshots macro and use multiple levels to display epics, issues in epics, and any subtasks. The Levels feature is great. You can show issue hierarchy in a way that JIRA can't. The effect is a nice view of cascading dependencies in one list. Each macro has one level by default. We'll use the first level to represent epics and any standalone issues. Enter a title for this level, like Projects. Then enter a JQL query to limit the scope of the issues. Then select the desired columns to display. Here's a quick look at the result. Next, add a second level to display the issues in the epics. The data in each level always depends on the data from the level above. Think of levels as subqueries. You can use variables to dynamically retrieve the desired issues. I'll name this level Impacted Teams and use a variable in the JQL query to retrieve issues associated with epics in the first level. Here's the result with a second level added. Finally, I'll add a third level for related subtasks. I'll name this level Effort and use a variable to retrieve child issues of parent issues in the second level. Here's the result with a third level added. After the three levels are configured, click the Save button to complete the configuration. Repeat the same process for any additional release proposals and publish the Confluence page. Finally, take snapshots to generate static lists of issues. Now I can present these options to leadership and they can choose between them. I also added some helpful information to the Confluence page, like the capacity for each impacted team, an area to capture the final decision, and another JIRA Snapshots macro showing future issues to consider for the next work cycle. Next time there are more requests than available capacity, you can simply copy the entire page and use it for the next scheduling and prioritization exercise. All you need to do is change the JQL queries. Try it out for yourself. Start a free trial of JIRA Snapshots for Confluence from the Atlassian Marketplace. The documentation contains complete instructions for setting up this use case and others.